What's up Airsofters? We are outside in our outdoor testing facility today using the Tagin ML36 launcher. Now this is several pieces of the Tagin system that we've combined. The ML36 launcher is a Picatinny rail mountable CO2 powered uh, Tagin round launcher. These are great for simulation games, especially if you do a lot of milsim. There are a variety of shells available for them. Uh, this one is CO2 powered using one CO2 uh, cartridge. It uses a 12 gram CO2 cartridge, which you can load really easily. We've also got it in its standalone ML36 cage. The cage is really cool because you can uh, mount the ML36 to it to use it as a standalone product. And there are adapters for this system to allow you to add two more CO2 cartridges in the buffer tube, uh, as well as an HPA conversion if you want to use this for HPA. For the time being, let's show you how to load the CO2 cartridge in the factory ML36. This cap twists and removes. You load one 12 gram CO2 cartridge like so, and then you're gonna press this down in and rotate it into place. Now, at this time, it's not primed. To puncture the CO2 cartridge, you're going to flip up the uh, sight, you're going to pull back, and that punctures the 12 gram CO2 cartridge, and now it is ready to fire. So we're gonna make sure that we keep it on safe using the included safety selector here. Once we've got it on safe, we're gonna open our chamber, and inside, you'll see that it is rifled. Now that rifling coincides to the rifling on the shells themselves. Now, these are the Gen 2 shells, and they have a secondary piece that they fit into down on the table here. I can go ahead and slide this into the receiver cup to make one complete unit. Notice that the rifling is still pronounced and that's going to line up with the rifling inside. If you still have the Gen 1 shells, they don't come with this plastic cup. They instead interface with the threads directly inside the barrel. We're ready to fire this. This is a chalk round. There are a variety of different rounds available. These ones are great because they break on impact, have a really nice um, chalk outline that bursts with them. There are air burst rounds and timed rounds and things like that. So let's go ahead and load this into our chamber. Notice that I'm spinning it to line it up with the rifling. It's not lined up. Spin it. Now it sets down into place. We can close that. The unit's still on fire, on safe. I also have a sighting system that is designed to work with the CO2 cartridges and these shells. So this is a really accurate sighting system for Milsim games. These chalk ones fly really far, so I'm gonna aim it pretty flat and see how far we can do. We've got a target set all the way down range. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of safe. It's now on fire. So close. Let's say we do another. Once again, making sure we put it on safe. Loading the chamber, closing it, back on fire. Let me say we do one more. Once again, back on safe. In the chamber, close the chamber, back on fire. I just can't win today, but it's so much fun. If you wanna find out even more information about these awesome tag-in launchers, the different shells that are available, and all the options to build this entire system, make sure you're following our social media for future tag-in products and releases and check out our website at evic.com.